Okay, so this is my DIY HHO generator. As you can see, I've got a little uh, MJ valve here. I've got the wires connected into the plastic bottle cap. And if you look, I've got them wound really, really tight. Stainless steel wires wound really, really, really tight. Let's see if you can get a better view of them around here. And it's almost in like a DNA spiral, like a double helix. Um, I've got the battery set up in series. I'm going to supply 24 volts at 7.5 amps. Amp hours, sorry. So, let's see how this does. Nope, oh, and she works. That's hydrogen gas being produced right there. Look at the bubbles. That's a considerable amount. Considering this is only coming out of a bottle of Ozarka water. Which was replaced with tap water, of course. So this is just tap water with no electrolyte involved. And again, I'm going to show you my setup. There's just two alligator clips to some stainless steel wire. In through the bottle cap down through here into the water water reservoir with a double helix miniature style uh, diode hooked into two batteries set up uh, two 12 volt 7.5 amp hour batteries set up in series to be 24 volts at 7.5 amp hours I don't have a uh, inline circuit break, uh, uh, inline fuse, I should, but right now this is just in beta testing, so I probably shouldn't be smoking around this, but hey, you know what, not too shabby for my own little thing, huh, we'll see what it's like, I'll put some sodium bicarbonate, possibly some phosphoric acid, we'll go the other way with it and see how much I can get. What I need to know is how can I actually measure the amount of hydrogen being produced? That's my question. So riddle me that, Batman.